back to the Dreamcast. I am your host, Denise Walsh. I combine science, scripture, and stories that will inspire you to dive deep, break through your own personal glass ceiling, and design a life of your dreams. Dreamcasters, before we jump into today's episode, I first want to say, man, a big thank you to all of you for your support. I have been traveling recently and going to tons of events, and so many of you are coming up to me and letting me know that you've been listening, that you are applying things to your life, that you're sharing it with your team, with your friends and your family. And I so appreciate your feedback because I know you certainly don't have to leave a review. You don't have to come up and talk to me. You don't have to let me know, but it means the world when you do. So if you are listening, if you are sharing, if you are finding value in what we're putting together here on the Dreamcast, please give us that feedback. Let us know what's your favorite, what connects with you the most, and what you'd love to hear more of. And you can do that by certainly reaching out to me on social media, letting me know at an event, come talk to me, but also leave a review. That lets us know that we are on the right track. I so appreciate you. Man, I was thinking about it this morning. I am currently living in my new ideal day. I work out, I read, I journal, I take both kids to school, which means that I'm home alone. I get to put cozy clothes back on and add value from my desk. (laughs) This is my living my dream. And my ideal day has changed throughout the years, but sometimes it's fun to take a look at where we are now and say, man, I've come a long way. Wow, I am doing what I want to do. And I hope that you can look back at your day today and say the same thing. In today's episode, we are going to talk all about the 1%. Now, traditionally, when we think about the 1%, we think about the 1% of Americans who pocket 85% of total income growth. In 2013, the average family income of the top 1% was 25 times the average income for the other 99%. Now, this income changes based on cost of living. So different areas of the country, uh, the income range Vary. So for some areas of the country, it's you need to be earning over $350,000 a year to be considered in their top 1%. In other areas of the country, it's over a million dollars a year in order to be considered in their top 1%. But today has nothing to do about income. Because when I say the top 1%, I am going to be talking about the things that I believe separate me when I'm being successful. So like the successful Denise versus the me when I'm spinning my wheels and floundering and not really headed in any direction. Because I believe that it's these habits that separate the 1% from the 99%, which means that these are all learnable habits. So spinning my wheels, Denise, as you know, everything that I learned is typically the hard way. Uh, Most people have to go through the mud in order to get to the other side. So I've had lots of seasons in my life where I was spinning my wheels. One example is when I was working my full-time job and I knew I didn't want to stay there, but I didn't know what else to do. More recently, my husband and I are at a place where we, you know, have the world at our fingertips. We could live anywhere. We could do anything. And so we've been so open to all things. We're saying things like, all right, God, what do you have for us next? All right, whatever it is, we'll take it. You know, like we're so open and willing. And what I have found in both season is that I was lacking the first step of the 1%. And that is clarity. So spinning my wheels, Denise, is open to all things, but focused on none. Spinning my wheels, Denise, really has no idea about what I want. Now, one thing that I think holds people back is when I say, what do you want? There, I mean, this is, was me, right? I was afraid that what if I don't want that in three years? And what I've learned, you guys, is that we can adjust. So when I say, what do I want? 
really, I'm just asking, what do I want right now? Because it could change in a year. It doesn't have to be forever. What do I want right now? What do I want life to look like now? And, and really getting clear and specific about that allows God to move in on my behalf. The Bible says, but let me ask in faith with no doubting for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind for that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double minded man, unstable in all his ways. So when I was open to all things and focused on none, what I found was that nothing moved in my life because I was double-minded in a sense. I could live here. I could live there. I'd be okay with this. Everything is fine. Once I made a decision and I, I really was like, okay, well, what do I really want? And I can start focusing on that. I felt movement start to change. Being open, being willing, all of that's cool, but none of that gets you focused enough to start taking action, to start taking steps and for the Lord to show up for you in amazing ways. The Bible says, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks, receives. The one who seeks, finds. And the one who knocks, the door will be opened. What I find when I'm sitting and spinning my wheels, Denise, is when I'm open to all things and focused on none, I feel like I'm just sitting back and like meditating or something or saying, okay, show me, tell me, come. You know what I mean? And uh, I'm not asking. I'm not taking action. I'm not seeking. I'm not knocking. I'm waiting. And waiting doesn't bring clarity. So still Success tip number one for the 1% is that they freaking know what they want. They know what they want. They are not double-minded. They make a decision and then they start asking, seeking, knocking in that direction, which allows God to show up in amazing ways for you. Number two, success tip for the 1%. And something I believe can separate me from the pack, separate success, Denise, from spinning my wheels, Denise, is being a finisher. Think about how many people you know that say they want things but never do it. How many people do you know that say they want to lose weight, they want to eat healthier, they don't want to drink anymore, they want to build their business, X, Y, Z, but they never really complete them. And honestly, they don't even believe themselves when they say it. You don't believe them. They probably don't even believe themselves. Now, how many of you are like that yourself? Like, think about the last time you said you wanted to do something and then you did it to completion. The Bible doesn't say halfway get there, get distracted by Netflix, just wanting it is enough. No, the Bible says to be a finisher. In Acts, Paul says, my only aim is to finish the race and complete the task the Lord Jesus has given me. Timothy says, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. One thing that I know helped me to finish the Dream Life workbook was I kept saying to myself, I'm a finisher. I'm a finisher. I'm a finisher. Everybody can. Few people do. Everybody can. Few people will. I'm a finisher. It's what separates me. I am a finisher. And I said that to myself over and over and over and over again because on the journey to success, you will have lots of roadblocks, lots of ups and downs lots of reasons to quit. But being a finisher, in my opinion, is what separates the 1% from the pack. So to start being your own finisher, I recommend building up your own confidence in this area by doing the things you say you're going to do. It starts off as simple as getting up when your alarm goes off. I mean, think about it. When we press snooze over and over and over again, we sometimes go to bed knowing we're not going to get up on time. Like, where's the confidence in that? We build our own confidence by saying we want something and then going to do it. 
So it can start as small as getting up in the morning. It can start as small as journaling or reading or, you know, sticking to your five minute morning, whatever it is, do it again and again and again. And you'll build your own finishing muscle because you're going to trust yourself. You're going to trust that when you say you want something, you're going to do it. You're going to follow through. And then what happens, you guys, is that the belief factor is immediately there. Because let's think about it. Sometimes we say we want something, but we don't believe we're going to do it. So we automatically are self-sabotaging because again, we say we want it with our mind, but our heart isn't connected. And so we're not doing the action and we don't have the belief to back it up. But when you build your finishing muscle, you are already in alignment with what you say because you already know that you are going to finish. So if you feel like you're spinning your wheels, believe me, I've been there, not just once, not just twice, over and over and over again. And the things that I do to get myself out of the hamster wheel and to start taking passionate action in a direction that I want to go, like taking me in a direction that's going to lead me to my ideal day, is to ask myself the question, what is it that I really want? Like, what is it that I want? Clarity is king. When you're clear, you can create a plan. When you create a plan, you simply execute. Clarity at the front end will help you be a finisher on the back end. So ask yourself, what is it that I really want? And then tell yourself every single step of the way, I'm a finisher, I'm a finisher, I'm a finisher. And then I want you to come find me at an event and tell me where you are in a year. Because I know with every morsel of my being, I know you will be in a different, better place and you will be closer, if not already living your ideal day. So congratulations, you guys. Welcome to the 1%. And when you do these two things, create clarity and then become a finisher, I guarantee your income and your success will follow. Thank you so much for listening today. Head over to denisewalsh.com. Enter your email to subscribe to our list and I'll be sending out an early bird special coupon. 50% off, in fact, of the Dream Life Workbook when it is launched in just a few months. So if you want to have first dibs, let's get your name on that list. Thanks again. I so appreciate you and remember to dream big.